Hi, Randall Risvold here from Force Bar, and today I'd like to talk about the uh, Force Bar rail fast fittings. They come in various configurations from antenna mounts to basically mounts for barbecues, GPS's, uh, television antennas. Just want to cover today the basic mount and the various parts that go to make up one of these, how it goes together, and some of the pitfalls you might encounter and spare parts that are available for these. First, the Allen wrench is supplied with every rail fast fitting sold. You can ins insert it into the Allen screw here and take that out. And that will allow you to remove the screw, the mounting boss, you can get the base off of the rail strap, which is the U-shaped piece going around the rail. But as you can see, what I almost did was drop the tension pin overboard. And that's really what I want to cover today, is the rail strap and the tension pin. The rail strap, which consists of the strap itself and the tension pin. And if you'll notice that the rail strap is round on one side along with the tension pin and square on the other side. So the tension pin drops down into the rail strap and rests this way. You want to make sure you install the rail strap into the base with the round end down. If you install it the other way, it falls out into the water. So make sure that the rail strap and tension pin both have the round side facing down when you're doing the installation. That can be inserted into the base, which is also curved and goes against the rail. And then the mounting boss inserts over the base screw is installed and using the at supplied Allen wrench you can then tighten up the Allen screw enough that it causes the rail strap to engage the rail and there you're done. You would have a basic setup for any of the rail fast fittings.